Praise the Lord. I am glad to um, be here this morning with you. Amen. And I'm so certain that God Almighty yes, will surely speak to you Amen. in a way that he spoke to me. Hmm. I've come to know that God, before he anointed Jesus with power, hmm. he went through temptation. Hmm. Now, one of the things I've seen is if you want to be empowered, hmm. There is a test and tempt temptations mm. that you're going to go through mm. until you passed it. Mm. You can never be empowered. Mm. God cannot trust you with power mm. if you cannot pass the temptation it brings across to you. Mm. So let's start with the temptation. Mm. Now, Jesus Christ, before he was empowered, mm. because uh, the Bible says he was led to the mountain, uh, to the wilderness, yes. to be tempted of the devil. Mm. Now, first thing the devil came to Jesus, told him, he said, Look, if that be the son of God, guess what? Turn these stones to be made bread. Mm. That means you and I got to understand that there are people that have come to a point of their life where they turn stones to bread. Mm. They do it in their own way. Mm. He said, do it in your own way. Mm. Don't depend on God. Mm. And Jesus said to the devil, <clears throat> Man cannot, I like the good news is because he said that that one, he said, man cannot live by bread alone. Mm. Now listen, the reason why Esau sold his birthright, mm. because he lived on the bread alone. Mm. The man had nothing, so he had no word of God. Mm. So when he came from the farm or the, the, the bush, mm. and his brother said, oh no, I'm not going to give you the food, mm. because he had no word in him, mm. he lived by the food, and so mm. he sold his birthright. Mm. Any man or woman or child of God that doesn't have this insight of, okay, I can live also with the, by the word of God, mm. guess what? They can sell their birthright or any precious thing that God has given them. Mm. That's number one. Number two, the devil took Jesus and said that, oh, look, all this glory mm. I will give you if only you can, uh, you, you worship me mm. and serve me. Mm. Now, God said to me, there are many of us that are serving him for the glory, mm. not that we are serving him because he's God. Mm. And that is one of the things that I want you to ponder about it because many are serving God, mm. not because he is God. Mm. We are serving him because there's glory mm. that we're going to receive. So mm. we are receiving the glory instead mm. of worshiping and serving God. Mm. The devil said, I will give you all the glory you see in this world. Mm. The beauty, the Bible says he showed him the beauty, the kingdoms, mm. everything that was in this world. Mm. So anytime we, uh, our worship and service is to just what we can get or mm. the glory, mm. guess what? We have deviated from the true worship Hallelujah. of God by worshiping something else. Hallelujah. That is it. And the third thing is a tempt God. Mm. Now, Satan wanted Jesus to be the tempter, mm. not him being the tempter. <laughs> so he said, tempt God. So when you tempt God, you know that when you tempt God, uh, I know he, he will help you. Mm. But that is what many of us do. We come to a place in our life, we begin to wonder, is God still with us? Exodus 17, he said that, is God still among us? That was temptation. Mm. Anytime you begin to question the fact that God, is God still here? Is God still, if God is with me, why should I go through things mm. like this? You are tempting God. Mm. Hmm. So, these few minutes, hmm. what I want you to ponder about is, hmm. look, one, the temptation was about his need. Hmm. Jesus was hungry, hmm. so the devil came in. So, anytime you are in need, hmm. that's where your temptation comes. Hmm. People's temptation has come about their weaknesses, hmm. and when they were in need, hmm. I want to challenge you, hmm. anytime you are in need hmm. or anything, look to God, oh, or yeah. he will tell you oh, that Turn the stones to be made bread. The needs, one, two, he said that I'll give you the glory. Mm. And three, he said, tempt God. Be the tempter, not me, Satan. Mm. So Satan himself didn't want to be the tempter, mm. but he wanted Jesus to be the tempter. Mm. Think about that. Mm. So that at the end, you and I will live a life that mm. God will empower us. Mm. Because verse 14, he said that he left the place with power. Mm. So mm. power comes only when we do this. Mm. And finally, let me say this. Jesus told them, you can never go to the cities or the 
ways of the Gentiles or the Samaritans mm. until the Holy Ghost come. Mm. Jesus himself in Matthew 15 told the woman, I'm not sent but to the Lordship of Israel. Mm. In other words, Jesus' ministry is limited. Let me put it again. Let me. I want you to hear it. Mm. His ministry was limited mm. without the Holy Ghost. Mm. Now, Holy Ghost coming, mm. he told them that when you receive the Holy Ghost, Hallelujah. you now yeah. can go to Ooh. uttermost parts of the yes, earth. Sir. And the Samaritan cities and everywhere. Mm. Whereas when he they didn't have the Holy Ghost, mm. he said you can't go. Mm. So please, I want to challenge you. When you want to go extra length, mm. you need the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. Without that, you'll be limited in visions and dreams mm. and you can never go forward. Mm. May the Lord bless you Amen. and we look forward to see you again in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.